In 2022, India shut down the internet 84 times. That's four times more than the second country on the list, according to data put together by Access Now. Over the last decade, we've seen over 600 instances of such shutdowns for reasons ranging from public order to preventing cheating in school exams. And no state in India has done this more frequently than Rajasthan, almost every time in violation of law. Access to information via internet is a fundamental right. And hence, by definition, an internet suspension is an infringement on fundamental rights. The Supreme Court also braced this sentiment in the judgment Anuradha Basin versus the Union of India, laying down directions for internet shutdowns where it also held that both the right to freedom of speech and expression and the right to carry on any trade or business using the medium of internet is constitutionally protected under Article 19. But have these directions been followed? Let's hear it from our legal expert Tanmay Singh. Not surprisingly, these directions of the Supreme Court have not been followed. An applicable law has been consistently violated by state governments across the board by first, not publishing internet suspension orders and second, suspending internet services for reasons not permitted under law. The internet is commonly suspended for circumstances as unreasonable as to facilitate conducting exams. One such incident was on September 26, 2021, when internet shutdowns were imposed in various districts of Rajasthan. This order was issued in light of the Rajasthan eligibility exam for teachers, REIT, being conducted by the state, apparently to prevent the candidates from cheating in the test and to avoid any disruption of public order due to fake news or accidents of candidates traveling for the exam. As absurd and as unreasonable as it sounds, this has been a common occurrence in Rajasthan, with this action being repeated as recently as Feb 25 and 26 this year. Here's another fact to add to this absurdity. Most of the orders issued between Jan 2020 and September 2021 by the Office of the Divisional Commissioner of Udaipur followed an identical copy-paste template. The similarity between the orders clearly indicates that due thought was not applied in considering if the internet suspension was necessary, unavoidable and the least intrusive remedy. Merely claiming that law and order will be affected because of rumours by anti-social elements is insufficient where there is an impact on people's lives, liberty and property. Here's what we do about shutdowns. 1. Go to the court. IFF has multiple challenges to internet shutdowns across the country, in various high courts and the Supreme Court. In fact, in a landmark decision, the Calcutta High Court stayed an ongoing internet shutdown affecting seven districts of West Bengal when the state government shut down the internet, obviously to prevent class 10 kids from cheating in the exam. This is the first time that a court in India has suspended an ongoing internet shutdown. Two. File RTIs to investigate the level of compliance with the Anuradha Basin directions by various states. Through filing RTIs with states and union territories, IFF has been maintaining a database and providing research and analysis of these orders. 3. Regularly engage with public officials and parliamentary committees to ensure that procedural safeguards are followed whenever the internet is suspended. We're involved in a number of litigations before the Supreme Court and several high courts regarding arbitrary, frequent and illegal shutdowns. Um, in the recent internet shutdown order on 26 February 2023, in the new district of Haryana, which was issued to deal with tensions in the community, we posed five questions for the review committee to ask when examining a shutdown order to understand its fairness and need. One, has any incident actually taken place which rises to the level of a threat to public safety or public emergency? Two, have any complaints been received through the 100 helpline or any other portal that indicates such threats? Three, does the order provide alternatives to communication modes that ensure that livelihoods are not affected? Four, does the order consider the economic impact of internet suspensions? Five, does the law and order situation still persist, which may justify the continuation of the internet suspension order for several days? Demanding transparency and accountability when shutdowns are ordered is important as an internet shutdown disrupts the flow of vital information among individuals, preventing them from contacting their friends and family, disrupts businesses and impacts livelihoods. Our ongoing work against frequent, arbitrary and illegal shutdowns of the internet services in India has been going on for years. In fact, uh, since we started work in 2016, please continue to support us uh, to enable us to keep doing this work and helping to make sure that the internet stays on where you are. To support the Internet Freedom Foundation in continuing this movement, please consider donating to us. Also, join our Telegram group to continue this conversation with IFF staffers and people in the tech policy space. It's 9.30am right now and I'm very sleepy.